guys, it's Samurai here. Today I'm going to be talking about the Pokemon Leagues. The Pokemon Leagues range from good to bad. Not talking about the Leagues in game, but talking about the Leagues in anime. But seriously, when was the last time I talked about the games? Like, November? Yeah, that was the last time I think I talked about the games. But today I'm talking about the Leagues and how our boy Ash Ketchup has prepared in many of the Leagues. So today I'm going to be ranking them from first to worst. From first to last, so that means from the Indigo League to the Alola League. The Indigo League, all the way to the Alola League. These can range from good to bad. I'll probably just rank them on if I like it or if I dislike it, not any special ranking system. It'll be like my other ranking videos where I just give my opinion on it. By the way, you should probably check out the two other ranking videos I made, one on Ash's Rivals and one on the series in general, but let's get started with the leagues. The first one in the movie, Team Rocket Filler. The Jeanette Fisher match was cool though, but the Team Rocket Filler definitely hindered this completely. I think if the Team Rocket stuff was just cut, this would have been 10 times better. I think if they just cut back the Team Rocket stuff, the filler stuff, if they introduced Richie a bit earlier, right before Ash was about to get his eight gym badge, I think that would have been a lot better. It would have kept the overall pace and flow of the league better. Richie should have got his own episode. Other than that, no complaints. The Orange League, fine, just one battle, a pretty enjoyable battle, but just one battle. Nothing to write home about, but I, it has its fans. Now we get into the Jodo League. The Jodo League basically wrote the formula for what makes a good league. And hear me out. Have preliminary match showing Ash's skills that he learned. Then have the main rival of the region versus Ash in around the semi-quarterfinal match. Then have either the semi or final match be Ash's closing match against the league rival. That is how they worked for this time until Alola. And it was a formula that they, stu they stuck to with until Alola. And until Alola was the status quo. But other than that, this league was pretty dang good. I have to give it props for creating the league formula we have. So that's definitely a A plus in my book. Uh, next up we have Hoenn. Hoenn is like Sonic Colors in a sense, where it took everything that worked in the previous league, but in case of Hoenn, since Hoenn was overall pretty mediocre, and people remember more from the Battle for Tier than the actual Hoenn League, the Hoenn didn't get talked about. Sure, we had Swellow and Corpfish making huge, taking huge W's for Ash, but other than that, it was overall pretty meh. I like Sonic Colors, just to clarify, I'm just saying it was pretty meh, the home league. The Sinnoh League, this league is top tier, easy. All the battles felt non rush where we got one skip battle, I think. We got one skip battle, which I'm fine with skip battles, as long as another battle that's just as important takes place. Because if they don't treat the battle as important or make, a, you know, waste the whole episode on a certain Pokemon getting lost, but other than that, as long as they treat the battle that that was so same in place instead of Ash, which is just as much as important as Ball versus uh, like Paul versus Barry, that's great. The like, Tierra versus Sora, again, that's great. I don't mind to skip battles if the battles that are taking place are just as important as Ash's. So that's quite nice to see. Not to mention thing you probably want me to mention, Ash versus Paul. I've talked to death about this. I'm about to analyze this battle battle choreography what makes a good Pokemon battle but that's not coming yet this battle had impact it had weight the character development is fabulous this is how you do a league battle right they took the formula from took the formula from Jodo and perfected it that's what I like to say they used the whole series to its advantage if Sonic Colors is the advanced series, if Sonic Unleashed is a uh, Jodo, then I guess we could call Sonic Diamond and Pearl Sonic Generations, if that makes sense. But let's move on to the Unova League. I kind of grown a soft spot for it over the years. It definitely gets its hate, and some of the hate is valid, like the filler episode, but it did do stuff a bit different, like having Ash face his main rival throughout the first round, so it broke the formula a bit, but. It kind of made Chip seem unthreatening. Like, Ash defeated you in the first round, you can even make the second. Get out of here, guy. Stefan was more of the main rival, because at least him and Ash had more than. At least him and Ash had the best battle in the league, if you ask me. Crocodile versus Sock. 
definitely a top tier match. But other than that, not much to write home about. They introduced Virgil for some reason. Oh, I'm sorry. Who? But other than that, there's nothing else to add, to be honest. Other than he's there, but the Unimal League kind of gets overhated. I definitely have grown a softer spot for it. I definitely need to get black and white a little review and look at back to see, like, because I'm enjoying black and white a lot more. Now that I've been watching the first movie, yeah, I have watched the first movie. The review is coming out next week. But this is generally how I feel about the Unimal League so far. Next up, we have the College League. This has the biggest problem and the thing that no league should ever happen. Being rushed. Being rushed is one of the most heinous things a league can do. If you're going to build up more than 100 plus episodes, because Pokemon season is set to have 100 plus episodes, 100 plus episodes to a general tournament arc, that tournament arc needs to have impact. As much as we like to give the unit release by having that one full episode, I'll tell you what, it didn't rush the entire league to put out an evil team arc. From what I could see was, they wasted too much time in X and Y, and wasted too much time in Call of Quest for Serena shit. Look, I'm sorry, Serena was just okay in my eyes. I didn't really get sad when I saw her on the pier and her putting her hair. Again, I explained why I don't get sad by this. I thought, oh, maybe if I saw her journey, but I'm getting sidetracked. But, then again, I think they should have cut down the fill episodes that are unnecessary, like Bonnie flying off a baby in her hair. I'm sorry, anytime Bonnie gets attention, I'm automatically going to hate that episode with a burning passion. People are like Bonnie, but they don't like Max. Have you heard Bonnie's voice? I Lily's voice is just as bad as Lily's dumb voice, and I hate Lily's dumb voice. I generally have to listen to Lily's dub voice all the time because I watch the Mel Anderson for the reviews. And oh my god, the amount of pain I have to insert. But nothing competes to Bonnie's dub voice. But moving on, I think if this league wasn't rushed and it was better paced, it would have been a lot better. I like this league. This is definitely a top tier league. It's definitely in the same vein as Sun. I would put it in I put it in third place. You can already guess what I would put in second. But this league definitely has some gusto. I definitely have the animation to prove it. Like this is the one thing I like about it, the animation. A lot of people gush over XYZ animation due to the 3D camera. I was never that big of a fan of the 3D camera. Sure, it was good for atmosphere, but it should have been safe for the really important battles, in my opinion. Like to give them more battle, like more of an impact. So that's what it should have been used for. I don't think it should have been used every time you get through a battle. So that's pretty much all I really need to add. Next up we have the Alola League, and the Alola League is pretty dang good, second best at most. It does the formula that Johto did in a way that makes sense. It didn't try to break the formula, but it did its own thing. Instead of having the preliminary rounds where actually it's a skill, they do it as more of a power of tournament, tournament of power battle royale game. That is a better step up from the preliminaries, even though I would like to see them bring back double battles back into the league. I'm pretty much fine with this new setup since they had Battle Royale in Sunday Moon, so this kind of makes sense. Given everything, the final battle with Kukui was great. I don't consider that with the League. You can do that if you want, but I'm going to put it in the anyway. This was a pretty damn good League, but otherwise, it's great. Oh, I totally recommend it. Followed the formula and added its own spin on it, perfected it once again, made Ash a champion. So, and this was one of the teams we got connected to, and they didn't rush it. They actually gave a lot of episodes and time for this. And this is one thing I think I'm gonna notice. I think Sun and Moon, the writers cared a bit more about Sun and Moon than they did X and Y. And this is just a hunch. If you don't have to quote me on this, I don't think. You don't have to take this seriously or anything. This is just like a guess. Because XYZ was written as a basic, bare bone shown in anime. Even though all the Pokemon animes have a bit of Shonen sprinkled in along with the bit of a slice of life, like you can see Shonen elements in Pokemon like in all seasons. That's just that's just facts. But this one they like put the whole tub of Shonen in there. It would be like a very bare bone Shonen anime, like by the numbers. Like Black Clover, but we're not talking about Black Clover. 
I think because it was so simple to write for, because shonen animes are very simple to write for if you're not going to put any nuance in. For as much as we want to give shit to Fairy Tale, it's still way better than Pokemon X, Y, Z, because it still does something with its shonen attributes. These just use the shonen characteristics from the certain friends and groups and doesn't do anything much with it. Eh, I mean, it's fine that Pokemon Rebirth, Mago, that is better than that, that's for sure. But, I don't know what else they want me to say. Um, but that's was my stance. Don't quote me on this. Like, this is just a minor theory with very little support. I don't. I I have to leave this. Okay, I have to leave this. I was just saying it because it's my opinion. So wow, this video went up to ten minutes. Hmm. Anyways, this is my idea of all the leaks so far. If you like the video, like, subscribe. I thought of taking a break this week, but I think I can pump one more video out. I may take a break a following week, because I've been pumping out content like a daily machine. And I think I just want a break for one week. I'll be back the next week, better than ever. But it might have a break next week. I'll have to see what I can do. But next week will definitely be the movie review. Like That is going to be what's coming out. The Pokemon 1 movie review. I'm going to be reviewing both the remake and the actual movie so because they're the same movie generally so i can review them both i can review the remake give it a little section and review the original but otherwise thanks for watching like subscribe share retweet reblog and adios